Hello everybody and welcome back to Tony Northeastern. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. And um yeah. We've got three more of these to build. Um reason being the back scene is just over a meter and um these kits are working out at roughly um, 230 mil. Well, that's for this one. The next one I'm going to do may be smaller. So, yeah, I've got three more of these kits to make. Um, in the comments in last week's video, uh, a couple of interesting topics um, came up. Um, protecting the card from UV lighting. lighting. Um, you can get a, a clear matte spray, a UV clear matte spray, which you can spray on these and hopefully it'll protect the colouring of these cards so it don't fade. So I'm going to try that um, on a test piece once all four of these kits are made. Um, so yeah, so thanks for that. Uh, and also some of you have never heard of Kingsway kits before. Um, they are on YouTube, they have done some um, videos, uh, some excellent videos uh, to be uh, to be exact regarding trams um, they are worth looking at because believe you me that the detail in the videos is, is, is quite uh, quite amazing but I think um, what I've done here is just highlighted the details um, when I put this together um, with, with the scribing and then the painting and etc so yeah so like I says, we've got three more kits to build and um, let's go over to the bench and find out what the next one is. Right, so here we are. It, we're going to build good old Woolworths. Um, I know most of us have fond memories of shopping at Woolworths and um, I'm going to reinstate it on the layout. Um, yes, uh, I mean... Uh, most Saturdays I'd be going down there and picking out some records things like that and you had the old pick and mix as well in there and um, yeah it was always a good store it was always busy and uh, yeah so that's what we're going to do next at the old Woolworths store right so here it is here's the kit and it's not as wide as the last one um, this one works out roughly, just get my ruler onto it. Blimey, 150 millimeters. So it's uh, yeah, it's, it's quite narrower than the other one. Um, lots of interest in detail. Um, the first thing I spotted straight away is the fascias. You can have this one. You can have the pre-war one, where it says nothing in this store is over 60, or you can have the 1980s version. So this would suit all modelers and all eras. Um, so yeah, but uh, I think you're guessing which one I'm going to go for. Yep, this one. I'm going to cut this one out and put this one in its place, and I'm going to use the old doors as well so I'm going to stick them on. So let's have a look at the instructions. Before we look uh, at the instructions I thought I'd show you this um, page here which shows you other interesting buildings that they do. Um, you got the Odin Cinema, a corner pub, now that's that'll be a, a full kit I'd imagine so that'd be a little bit more expensive than these um, three um, low relief kits and then you've got this um, pub here another corner pub the black cat tavern so yeah they do a lot of various kits um, so yeah it's worth having a look at their site and there's the the link there www.kingswaymodels.co.uk right Instructions. Let's flip the page. There we go. Instructions. <laughs> um, it's 
a little bit more complicated than the um, the shops that we just done because you've got to step back the doors here as you can see there so there's the doors and the angled windows so that they've got to be set at an angle um, which don't really bode well for my 10 mil tolerance but uh, we shall see so the first thing we need to do is to cut out the main walls and um, we'll take it from there right so here we are we're cutting out the all these central parts but I want to keep this and this as per the instructions so I'm just checking the measurements from where the ruler is which is on the edge of the print there to make sure that when I cut it it cuts the same so it's 38 mil to that line and 38 millimeters to this line here so now I can score along here very very carefully because I don't want to cut into those doors if I can help it so I'll start there to there and I'll do the same from there to there right notice I didn't go all the way up to the corner in case I cut into that edge so turn it around and then go back into that corner and then come away because you've already cut it so the blade should just follow what you've already cut and then I'll do the same here right so that's these three points cut no, I haven't done let's do this one just notice I'm leaving enough width for the blade so I cut dead on the line Go into the corner again and you should follow the blade. Hopefully all that should come out. Notice there's a lip here and here. We've got to keep them because that forms part of the step. So they'll have to be cut out as well. So what we're doing now, we're just taking whenever you're doing little bits like this always try and keep the rule straight even if you have to measure it on a previous cut so it's formula at the top there and it's yes yeah, so that's about four and a half mil four and a half mil otherwise you would end up with a not so straight cut Right, so that's the front wall cut out and you can see what I mean about the little step there. Now what that's for, that is for this piece of card here to slot in um, right up to the kerb there, as you can see. Right, so what I've got to do now is from the edge of the kerb, mark out 12 millimeters and then draw a line and use this as the dating point for the depth of the building um, so I can get my 10 millimeters so that's what I'm going to do now so from that line there 12 millimeters in do the same there 12 millimeters in and then we should cut that off there and then hopefully that will um, give me the depth for the building is I will use probably five millimeters of these paving but paint it uh, in the same stone as these steps here so I'll paint the paving and the steps so you've got like two steps going into the building um, I think that idea will work and this is what I mean by 
the the depth that I want for the building. So I've cut that at 12 millimeters, and I've cut the paving at 5 millimeters, and I've rounded the corners over with a couple of cuts at 45 degrees each um, to round that over. I might put a little drop of super glue on that and round it over um, with a bit of sandpaper just to to make it look like a, a step, and then um, yeah, we can paint that once the building's finished. Right, so. I'm quite happy with the way that that's going because that's obviously going to be the base for um, sitting the kit on. Next thing we want to do is to cut out all the windows like we did in the last video. And luckily we've only got four this time. Right so I've cut the windows out and the uh, well, the aperture's out here where there's some brick detail which is going to come behind. Um, so I'm looking at the brick again and I'm trying to compare it with the previous building. And it is the same. So I'll be using matte 70 for the edges like I did last time. And um, as for these stones here, I'll be using a lighter colour, a light grey. Um, for these so be interesting to see how this is going to look um, there's still a few more edges to clean up by the looks of what I've just seen there so I'll clean these edges up give it a paint and then see where we go from there now, bear... right the next thing I want to do is cut out this um, pediment frame which goes on this piece here but in order to do that I need to scribe this pediment itself which goes on this piece here so if I scribe that I'll be able to paint it and hopefully highlight all the details now these mouldings here go down either side here and here so there might be a have to paint it as, have to be painted as well so yeah it's, it's coming together but if I just quickly show you this before I go any further so there's the windows so you can see what's going on here and uh, that, these edges here will have to be painted that's the top and bottom edges have to be painted in the same color as these uh, capping stones which is a matte 147 which is a quite a close resemblance to this color so I'm going to use that so as they say carry on scribing so I'll scribe this first before I cut it out and uh, Hopefully that will highlight any of the details. Right, so I've glued the pediment to the frame and as you can see I've, I've scribed it and the detail looks like it's come through. Um, the other thing we've got to do now is put on this pediment cornice. Now if I cut that, um, you'd end up with a V in the top where that pencil line is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it in half, turn it over and then at an angle cut it at 45 degrees and then do the same with this piece and hopefully you're going to end up with a V on the top. And then we'll bring the two edges together And hopefully we'll um, won't have any gaps on the top of the V there. Now as you can see I've stuck one half on. So if I do if I stick this half on, when it meets at the top you should have a perfect mitre. Alright, I've just got to push it in a little bit, squeeze it together. There you go, we should have a perfect mitre. And then we've just got to wipe the excess glue off. And then that'll be ready for painting. 
So as you can see, this paint is pretty good match really, this matte 147, um, a very, very light grey. So as you can see, there's a piece I've painted already and there's the um, area that I haven't painted yet. So I'm just going to run the brush along there. Nicely, I'm only putting it on very, very thinly. And then obviously we've got to do the tops and the bottoms of the windows in the same paint as well. There you go. Slowly getting there. Right, so that's almost the top section all completed with the windows, pediment and these columns here. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut the side walls, which I've already done. Um, I'm restricting myself to 10 millimeters again. Now I've already prescribed the top. So once they're glued on, the paint should carry over onto the edges so we don't see the card um, yeah and then we can work out what to do with the windows and doors once these side walls are in because these side walls will give us a guide on the depth and um, how to figure out how to um, well basically finish off the lower half of this building right so this is what I've done with the base um, I've stuck on the paving slabs Remember we cut these earlier on, plus the 10 mil depth. Um, and if we turn it round, you can see how I've added uh, a stiffening card across the centre there, which is 10 mil again, and two packing pieces, which solidates the corner and gives it a little bit of strength, which now allows it to stand up and also stay square. So, what I'm going to try and do now is work out how the four windows and the three doors go into this building. Hopefully we'll get Woolies reopened. I think I've come up with a, a plan to do this. Um, I've stuck in an extra stiffener and uh, when the main step is glued in, in here which is this one, that will give me another two millimeters to glue to as well. So that part of the plan is okay. Now, the next part of the plan is to fit the windows. So here are the windows. So if I leave a five mil edge along the bottom and the top and down the sides, I'll be able to glue them into the recess that we have here and hopefully that will form um, the shop front. Right, so now that the main step has been glued in and I've left a millimetre and a half gap either side, um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just putting in these little bits of card. Um, so I've got to cut it with the chamfer. So I've got the blade tilted at about 45 degrees and I'll just Take that off. Hopefully, I've got a square cut. Then we can push that on the inside, and that goes flush to the edge there. You can actually see the edge meeting. And then what I'll do then is I'll pencil and cut that there. And then we can glue this piece in, and we'll do the same to the far side. And uh, then we can look at the windows. So with those pieces now glued in, I think it's the ideal opportunity to paint these shop edges. Now the paint I'm using is matte 147. And um, it matches the colour of these, um, this section of the window here quite well. 
and I'll be able to paint these at the same time. And the card edges as well. So we can do this and then we can go back to the doors and windows once all this paintwork has dried. Now I'm measuring up for the windows. Now I've measured the depth of the recess and it's roughly 3mm. So I've come away from this edge, which is the left hand window, by 3mm. And um, if we do the same along the bottom of the window frame, 3mm, that gives us a gluing lip um, for the inside of roughly the same 3mm. Now I'm going to have to do this one window at a time um, just to see how we get on and we'll do the same with the top we'll leave a 3 mil lip on the top so we'll just measure that, cut that and then we can fold that edge and use it to stick to the upper support, that extra upper support that we put in so there's your three mil there. All right, so that should come out. And that should then fit inside there. Just try folding that. Now there may be some adjustment on these windows because of the depth that we've got. Um, but obviously, if you weren't doing this, they would fit in there nicely so there we go so if we if I just hold that like that you can see what I mean so it sits in there three mil all the way around inside those recesses now you can see straight away that the side window here is way 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 too big so I'm gonna have to do something about that So with the left window in, I just thought I'd quickly show you what I've done with fitting these windows. As you can see, we've got a three mil tab on the top and I've cut out a square in the corner so we can fold it over. And then this then should fit neatly inside there. Okay, so we've moved on a little bit. Um, as you can see, I've glued the doors in and I've managed to fit one of the um, side windows at an angle and this is what I've done to achieve that. I measured the gap between the edge there and the door which works out at 12mm and I folded this card in two places so this is the 12mm. This piece here will go behind the door which will sit in here like we've done there where we've got the overlap and this piece here, this edge will be glued onto the front window in that corner and we'll also have a little tab there which I've got to fold back so I'll do that now and this is ready for gluing in place but before we do we'll just give it a quick check to make sure that it fits first and all the panels and everything lines up so as you can see it all lines up nice and neatly so that's ready for gluing in right so that's the windows now in um, when I first got this kit and had a look at the instructions and realized how deep the doors go back, they go back about 30 millimeters and I'm um, trying to halve that to get it to fit within the limit of 10 mil um, so I think I've uh, achieved that um, yeah so I'm happy with the windows the way that they've gone in so there's only a couple of things left to do I've got to paint this here so I'll paint that white and then I'll um, add a Corniche to go around the top. Um, 
There's no one mil card in the kit, so luckily I've got some one mil card. I've cut it to uh, just under four mil thick, and I'll just run that around the top, and I'll paint the flat roof grey. So yeah, Let's see what it looks like when it's finished. Right, so here we are, another kit finished, and Woolworths is now reopened here at the northeastern. <laughs> Right, so just let me explain what I did with the cornice here on the top. Uh, before I stuck in, stuck on the one mil strip, I glued on a piece of two mil strip, um, which goes from front to back. That's why we got this double edge, and it looks quite nice. It looks like it's a proper cornice running around the whole building there. Um, there was a, a roof, a pitched roof, which goes from front to back so it goes away and then it comes back down again but um, I think we wouldn't have seen much of that not over 10 millimeters it would probably would have come up about four or five mil higher than the the actual roof we got there and uh, I don't think it would have been worth doing it so I've left it flat and I've painted the top with a light grey so yeah so that's uh, that kit finished um, I just thought I'd put it alongside the kit we did last time just for a, a size comparison that works out at 240 millimeters this works out at about 160 millimeters so there's a there's a little bit of difference in width there which means I might have to add more kits to what I've already got I've still got two more left to build I've got the Odeon cinema and the pub so let me know in the comments which one you want me to build next. And um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do, I do like this. It's really oldy worldies and it really fits in, or it will fit in with the layout, I think. Anyway, I think that's all from me this, this time. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Until then, take care everybody. Bye for now. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.